so you're looking for how to style white knee-high boots for this upcoming season, I have got you. Welcome to my channel. It is your girl Jordan of Lil Miss JB Style, your pair shape shorty, style guru, and you love my video on how to style knee high boots so much. And I got these white knee high boots from ASOS. I figured I would share with you exactly how to style them through the season, whether you're looking for something a little more casual or a little more dressed up. I have tons of options for how to style white knee high boots, especially if you're pair shaped. You do not have to shy away from it. I know if you watch my other videos, I talk about very often white is expanding so i get that you might be a little afraid to give it a try you don't think it will be flattering girl 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 let me tell you what you're missing out okay you're missing out i'm not gonna say you need to run out and buy knee-high white boots but if you have some and you aren't quite sure how you're gonna wear them this video is for you i've got you you are gonna slay for spring no problem as always there are links in my description i share where i got everything in case you are seeing a piece you love i totally get it because it's in my closet i had to buy it so so get it boo but if you do see something that says old or sold out just know that the link there is something similar both in price quality and of course style let's get into how to style white knee high boots for this season boo I wanted to start with a no-fail way you can wear your knee-high boots and that is with a sweater dress. Opt for something a little bit less fitted because it's going to allow your dress not to compete with the boots and this is a really great example of that. You have this really comfortable sweater dress to highlight your waist you can go ahead when you're wearing something looser and wear a shoulder purse or a belt or you can also do a fanny bag right at your waist that will help to give you more dimension if you don't like wearing looser clothes and it will help to add that shape back. And then with the slits in a sweater dress, that's gonna also show the boots off without competing, being very flattering. And you can do this a number of ways. Monochrome is the safest way, it's super easy, but you can mix and match colors as well if you have more colorful sweater dresses. So this is a really easy, no fail way to wear your knee high boots for the upcoming season. And you can layer it with all kinds of outerwear depending on your personal style. So here's another example wearing with a sweater dress. This is actually the oversized Hanifa cardigan. I love it that I've turned into a more shortened dress so you can see the boots. But this is a way where you can wear color with your white knee high boots and it not being very daunting. The key is to kind of pick the same kind of vibrant. So you notice that this is a brighter green. So it doesn't really compete with the white and the white doesn't feel too bright for the green. So think about that as you're choosing colors to wear with the white boots. You don't want it to be too stark of a contrast. And then from here, you can also play with color with your accessories like I did I did this really fun green bird bee purse just add a little bit more color make it more spring friendly because green is going nowhere for the upcoming season for spring for summer and for fall it's a great year-round color so this is an absolutely safe choice if you want to wear your white boots with a colored sweater dress Something a little less traditional but I wanted to give you this option especially if you are a little self-conscious you're not quite ready to show legs Try turning your trench coat into a dress. I love this hack. It gives you so much more wear for your trench coat. This navy blue trench coat has pinstripes. It's so fun. So I was able to play on the white and the pinstripes with this trench coat, belted it at the waist so it's very flatter figuring, no matter your shape. Then you can show a little leg if you want to, depending on the trench dress, or you can keep your legs covered and let the boots just kind of poke out at the bottom. I went ahead and again, played on the white in the pinstripe. So white purse, white hat to really make that pop. Again, this is a really easy way if you're still not quite sure about showing some leg as you're wearing some knee-high boots. Turning your coats, whether it's a winter coat or a trench coat, into a dress is a really great way to add some fun and something a little bit unexpected to really turn heads for the season. If you are finding this video even the least bit helpful, go ahead real quick and give that like button a boot for me. You know, let me know I'm doing a good job. That helps this video reach even more people to help them also figure out how to style these boots. 
I really wanted to give you an easy way to wear your knee high boots with something that is a more fitted dress. This is a great example of that, okay? So you have this really amazing fitted dress from Mesh Key. The key here is you need leg slits, okay? Because you don't want the dress to be super tight at the bottom. It's just not gonna be flattering with knee high boots. So having that leg slit on the one side helps to give you a little bit more range of motion, as well as keep your proportions looking nice and natural. From there, I mentioned like in the first look, you could layer your sweater dress with a coat. This is a great example. You can add a pop of color. You could add a pop of pattern. Purple is a moment. I'm loving this coat. So this is a way to make it a little bit more softer, have a bit of that fun. And you can also add some personality with some prints like I did with the zebra print. Again, it's really up to you. And that's the great part about having your base be very neutral, the white boots and the white dress. You really can take it any direction. You can keep it neutral or you can add colors and you can add pattern to best suit your personal style. too fitted again it's just not going to look right with a more fitted boot so this example I'm using a matching set you've seen this matching set layering it with a blazer so subtle print mixing here okay when I mix prints I really don't go overboard but you can mix prints to how you feel comfortable the point is with this outfit to show you that you kind of want a skirt again it can be longer than the boot but you want to make sure you have that movement you want to make sure you have a little bit of leg slit to really keep your proportions looking nice and light and flattering for your figure and again this is a great way if you want to mix prints that's super easy it's very neutral very subtle you have the stripes with the plaid sticking to the front so keep that in mind if you are new to mixing patterns and you want to kind of stick to subtle patterns, stay in the same color family, that just makes it look more cohesive. But from there, once you get more comfortable, you can make a match, clash until your heart's content. It's really up to you. If you are wanting to wear shorter hemlines but are a little self-conscious, this is a great outfit idea for you, okay? You're taking your classic mini skirt like a leather skirt, adding the knee-high boots, but then you're also layering with a coat so you have just a small sliver of leg showing. This is a great way to start building your confidence level for wearing shorter hemlines. I cannot stress this enough and this is such a classic look because we're sticking again with the same colors. You have the plaid coat which looks amazing, a white top, black skirt to help kind of minimize especially if you're pear shaped, and the white boots. It really is such an even proportion and it's such a great classic look. You cannot go wrong with no matter the season, swap out a heavier coat for something lighter for the summer or a vest, you can still make this work no matter the time of year. So if you are still a little self-conscious but you wanna wear a shorter hemline, consider again just an outer layering piece to help give you a little bit more coverage. As the temperatures start to warm up, a classic option is a shirt dress with a shacket and your knee-high boots. You cannot go wrong here and don't think that you have to stick to truly white. This is a great example of subtly mixing beiges or creams with whites. It's very fun. You don't have to be super matchy-matchy and I love this. It just is very classic, very chic and a great way to add interest. You have the different textures. The jacket, the shacket is faux leather. The top is a plissé top and then you can wear some nice biker shorts under this if you're still a little self-conscious of actually having your legs out. And then you have the white boots. Again, it just helps to balance out the proportions and the white purse to be a little matchy. So this is a really great transitional outfit if you're more into neutrals and not ready to venture into prints and colors. Before we get into the rest of the looks, I am super curious, how do you usually wear your knee-high boots? They don't have to be white, I'm just generally curious, when you reach for knee-high boots, like the spring season, how do you like to style them? What is your favorite way to wear them? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you are ready to give Prince and Colors a try, this is a great way. Again, it's the same outfit combination from the last look, but with pattern, okay? So you still have the shirt dress. This is a little more classic style, just a plain linen button up. But then you have the really fun jacket. So this is a zebra print jacket. And then I went a little more bold with the purse. This is a great way to start experimenting with patterns, okay? Especially if you are someone who likes neutrals, but you still wanna have some patterns. You don't have to think that minimal means you can't wear patterns and you can't wear colors. I do consider myself a little more minimal in terms of my style, but I still like to pack a punch with prints and colors. So this is a great example of that. The rest of the look is very simple pieces and you just let the outerwear be the statement piece. So as you're thinking about how you wanna add prints, how you wanna add patterns, this is a great option to try and figure out your comfort level. As it gets a little warmer, maybe you wanna be a little more risque, I give you this amazing outfit option. You have a shirt dress, but a little bit of a sexier shirt dress layered with a cropped blazer. Look how flattering this is for the proportions, especially if you're pear-shaped, okay? We are showing off the hips, we have the leg with the boots. This is perfect for a date night, you could wear this, especially if you have a little more professional setting, you might wanna swap out the shirt dress for maybe something that closes up, but could be a more professional outfit. This is great for a date night. This is just a really versatile outfit idea that will be super flattering, no matter your proportions. As you approach summer, this is a very classic outfit idea and you can do this with a bunch of different colorways and it's very simple. It is just a nice button up with a shorter skirt. You don't mind showing off that leg and you have the white boots. Okay, so this is a really classic look. You cannot go wrong with this. It's always going to be flattering. The key here is just finding clothes you feel confident and comfortable in because that's gonna make a world of difference. So I have this very structured button up that I love. I have this really fun brown skirt and then the boots so you can wear this as it starts to get warmer whether you're headed to meet up with the girls for coffee going on a date just a very classic look again you could layer this with some outerwear like a blazer or a jacket if you wanted to you saw a version of that similar in this video but this is again just how you would transition it as it starts to get warmer into the summertime This last look is also for the summertime. So you have a really chic colored blazer and you have these white linen shorts paired with the knee high boots. This is again, a really great outfit. If you're not quite comfortable in skirts quite yet, you have some chafing, you might be doing a lot of walking. This is a really great outfit idea. And again, the blazer, you don't have to wear as a top itself. You can have a cute little crop top underneath. That choice is up to you, but I wanted to show you that you can style your knee-high boots with shorts as well. It's not something I do very often, but this would be the way that I would do it. I've also seen it with denim shorts, things like that. So it's really your personal style preference. This is just what makes sense to me. I love a tailored look and this is very tailored, very polished, but can still be weekend appropriate, almost work appropriate depending where you work. So that's what I love about this outfit. And of course it has that fun pop of color with yellow and white. I think a lot of people sleep on that color combo. So another awesome way for you to style your knee-high boots with some shorts for the upcoming season. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way through. I absolutely appreciate you. And I hope that you found this super useful. If you did, that like button, just, just hit that like button. It don't hurt nobody, it's free. Help this video reach more people and let them get inspired just like you did. 
I hope you really took note of the tips and tricks that I shared with you to help you elevate your style, reach that next level, because that's what I want for you. I know you are manifesting. I know you are working like your butt off, saving, saving them coins, looking online, trying to get it all together. And I hope this video really helped make that easier for you because I want you to succeed and I want you to look good while you do it. That's what I want for you. So thank you. And I really, really hope that you found some good tips and tricks. In fact, let me know what your favorite tip or trick was in the comments. I would totally appreciate it. With that, seriously, thank you again for watching all the way through and I will see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye.